welcome to our channel in the previous session we have discussed conversion from basic data type into user defined data types now in this session we will move to how to convert a user defined data type into basic data type in this conversion that is to convert from user to basic we have to define a conversion function we have to define a conversion function or a conversion operator we have to define a conversion operator in the program which converts a user to basic which converts user to basic okay what is the syntax and the rules of it is similar to operator function but it does not contains any return type similar to operator function it does not contains any return type but it has a return statement but it has a return statement the syntax is very simple operator operator without any return type not even void also without any return type operator space the basic data type that is here we can write either int float cat etc and some return statement some return statement this is the syntax for creating a conversion operator or a conversion function or a cached operator simply to convert from user defined data type into basic data type okay now consider a simple example of how to convert consider a simple example class sample int hours comma minutes public use a constructor sample sample of int x comma int y simply hours is equal to x minutes is equal to y okay this is a normal constructor which is used to initialize hours and minutes which is used to initialize hours and minutes now what is our aim to convert user into basic data type i am creating a conversion operator i am creating a conversion operator that is written as operator suppose if you want to convert these values and into an integer you can write int of if you want to convert into a float you can write here as a float so this is the basic data type it does not contains any return type it contains some return statement return suppose return some value that is a completely your wish suppose return hours into 60 plus minutes remember the operation is completely your choice the operation is completely your choice but here what is the required here the required thing is the keyword operator and the data type that is to which data type you want to convert this one is very important this one is very important and and use some display function also that is your wish and i am closing the class the class is closed if you required use the display function and the display function print hours and minutes i will go to directly main in the main i am creating three variables h comma m comma for example duration i am creating three variables for example h is equal to 2 m is equal to 30 call the constructor sample sample of h comma m that means what is the simple thing means i am passing values to x and y that is hours and minutes i am passing values to hours and minutes up to now this is a normal program and this constructor that is this operator is not called up to now this is not called then what is your aim user defined data type into a basic data type so create an object sample for example yes this is the way sample yes of 
H comma M. This is the way. Now I am creating an object S. Now this value is converted into a basic data type. So simply I am writing like this. Duration is equal to S. Duration is equal to S. That means S is user defined data type. It's converted into duration is basic data type. User defined data type is converted into basic data type. Here you can print also C out duration. Now what is the answer? What happens here? First the value of H is 2. M is 3. S of H comma M. This constructor, this is the object. Whenever we are creating an object, this constructor is called hours is equal to 2, minutes is equal to 30. Whenever we are writing this statement, that is duration is equal to S. Yes. Whenever we are writing this statement, this constructor, sorry, this operator is called. In this, what happens? Hours into 60. Hours value is 2. 2 into 60, 120. Minutes is equal to 30, 150. It returns the value 150 to S. Yes. Observe. What happens whenever we are writing this statement, it calls this one and return the value 150. 150 is of type integer. Now 150 is stored in duration. 150 is stored in duration. Whenever you print the value, the 150 is printed on the screen. You got it? The conversion from higher data type. Assume this is higher data type. This is lower data type. In this conversion, explicitly you have to call the conversion operator or cast operator. Okay. This is the way to convert user defined data type into basic data type.